So here's a topic that you'll get just about as many answers as people you ask. Hello everybody, welcome back to Peaks Peak. Today we are going to talk about what size trailer you need to haul your subcompact tractor. We're gonna use my Kubota BX as an example. Now I have a 2019 BX23S, so that includes a backhoe. So I need to be able to accommodate a backhoe as well. But a lot of what we talk about is going to apply to any of the subcompact tractors on the market. We'll use the weights and the statistics of the Kubota BX as a, as a guide, but most of the tractors are gonna fall in that same ballpark. So I think the uh, conclusion that we come to will fit just about any subcompact tractor that you find. So one of the things you have to consider when you buy you a subcompact tractor is how you're going to move it around. You may not need to take it off of your own farm or your own home place to do work. Maybe you're not going to do work for anybody else and that sort of thing, but you still are going to have to be able to get your tractor to the dealer when it needs service or needs repairs that you can't do at your own homestead. So you need to think about whether you need a trailer and just how big that trailer needs to be and what you're gonna pull it with. Just in general, this tractor, without a loader, without a backhoe, without any implements, is going to be right around 1,600 pounds. Now, most of us have had our rear tires loaded with fluid, and they hold about 11 gallons of fluid or 88 pounds, give or take, um, in, in one of these R14s. So, that being said, you're talking about another 160 to 200 pounds of weight if you load the tires. So at that point, with just a bare tractor, you're talking 1,800 pounds. The advertised weight for the front end loader attachment on the Kubota BX is 600 pounds, and it's about the same for the backhoe. The backhoe is about another 600 pounds. So when you talk tractor, fluids, weighted tires, front end loader, and backhoe, you're looking at a 3,000 pound piece of equipment give or take a few pounds. And I think that's probably going to be pretty close for most of the subcompact tractors on the market. So that's the first thing that you need to know is how much weight you're hauling. Of course, if you're gonna take some other implements with you, you need to know the weight of those implements as well. And as you can see, the weights are adding up, which is very quickly going to get you out of the realm of being able to haul this piece of equipment on a single axle trailer. Can it be done on a single axle trailer? Probably. Should it be done on a single axle trailer? I doubt it. Here's the thing. If you're going to transfer your tractor a few miles down the road, you might be able to squeeze it onto a you know, 12 or 14 foot single axle trailer and get it there. And there'll be plenty of people who chime in and say they do that. That's up to you. But when you're talking about axle load ratings, your gross vehicle weight, all of those things. Look, I'm not an expert on those things, but I can tell you what I'm doing that works really well and I know it's safe. I'm a realistic guy and I understand that most of us don't fall in that category of being rich and just going out and buying whatever we want. That definitely includes me. So what I have to do is either use what I have or buy what's within my budget and make it work. And sometimes that means you don't end up with the ideal piece of equipment or trailer that you want. But you need to have a few things in mind when you're going shopping for a trailer so that you know what you can fit your trailer on and how you're gonna be able to pull it. So you could get this tractor on a 14 foot trailer. You could even get the tractor with a backhoe on a 14 foot trailer if you put the front end loader up over the front or you swing your backhoe around sideways. You know, there are ways to get it done. But a 14 foot trailer, in my opinion, is not big enough if you have the choice of going bigger. I went with a 16 foot trailer, one, because I knew it would be big enough to haul my tractor and an implement or two if I load it correctly. So in general, it would work for what I need. And I didn't want a huge trailer. If you have a larger trailer, an 18 foot, many people are going to tell you an 18 foot trailer is ideal. To me, anything longer than about an 18 foot trailer. And they get a little bit harder to maneuver. You need larger spaces to turn around and back it up and, and all of that. So to me, the perfect mix of what was big enough and what was easy to use was a 16 foot trailer. 
and I happened to find a decent deal on a 16 foot trailer, which was just what I wanted. It had dual 3,500 pound axles under it. So 7,000 pound capacity trailer. Now keep in mind, those axle ratings include the weight of your trailer. So my trailer weighs about 2,000 pounds. So knock that right off the top. And my load limit is 5,000 pounds. Well, by the time I put my tractor, my loader, my backhoe, and an implement or two, I'm starting to get up around the carrying capacity of the axles on my 16 foot trailer with two axles. The next thing I wanted to mention is you want some trailer braking. When you put another 3000 pounds behind any vehicle, you're gonna know it's back there. It makes it a whole lot easier and safer for you to be able to haul your tractor around and not worry about it if you have trailer brakes. And that means you're gonna need a brake controller on your tow vehicle and brakes on your trailer. Now, I've got brakes on my trailer. I had a controller in my truck already, so I was good to go, but that's something I would definitely recommend. Now, another thing you're gonna wanna consider is the towing capacity of the vehicle you're hauling with. I would say most half ton trucks can haul 5,000 pounds. But if you figure the weight of your trailer and the weight of your tractor loader backhoe, you're looking at right around 5,000 pounds that you'll be pulling. A lot of half ton trucks, that's the towing capacity that they have. Some are a little higher, 6,500, 7,500 pounds. So you can get by with a half ton truck. You don't need to be hauling this kind of load around with a minivan or a small SUV. Just be sure and check your towing capacity of the vehicle you have and you need to be looking at 5,000 pounds or more to safely be able to pull this around and not have any concerns or worries. All things considered, if I'm choosing, I choose at least a three quarter ton truck to tow it. I have a three quarter ton Dodge diesel truck. And with the brake controller, I can pull my tractor and trailer around and basically not even know it's back there. It doesn't slow me down too much. I don't have to worry about stopping suddenly because I can stop it quickly with the trailer brakes and all of that. So a three quarter ton truck would be the preferred. But like I said, I understand not everybody gets to choose the perfect piece of equipment. So if you have a half ton truck, you can get by with that. You might even be able to get by with something like a uh, V6 Tacoma or you know some of the smaller trucks if the towing capacity is 5,000 pounds or more. And I also understand people are doing things all sorts of different ways. And so if you feel like I am exaggerating what you need to be able to pull this tractor, chime in in the comments. You're not gonna hurt my feelings. I'd love to hear what you have to say. Share with me what you're pulling yours with. Size of your trailer, size of your vehicle that you're pulling it around with. I'd like to know. And I also have one more warning for you. If you're considering getting yourself a trailer so that you can pull your tractor around, if you have the means to take your tractor somewhere else to work, you're going to be asked to take your tractor somewhere else to work. Nobody has more friends than a guy with a lift, a guy with a trailer, and a guy with a backhoe. So keep that in mind because if you don't have a trailer to haul your tractor around, then you've got a good excuse to get out of work. But honestly, I'm just joking around about that park. I am thrilled to have this piece of equipment. I'm blessed to have this piece of equipment. So when I have the time and opportunity, I try to help others out with my tractor. And so I've actually got to haul my tractor around quite a bit and help some friends out with water lines and electrical and things like that. You get some good experience that way. So if you have the time and the opportunity to show off your piece of equipment and help some people out, do that. But just know, if you get a trailer, you're gonna be asked to do that. That's for sure. So share with me the kind of things that you've gotten into with your tractor and your trailer. And I hope that if you're a new subcompact tractor owner, that this will help you in making your decision and you're shopping for a trailer and a vehicle to pull that around with. And it'll, this will give you some ideas for doing that and doing it safely. Remember, just because you can doesn't always mean you should. And you're not the only other person on the road. And so you need to think about what you would expect others to do if they were hauling a heavy piece of equipment around because the last thing we wanna do is get somebody hurt. So we wanna make sure that we tie it down properly and we're pulling it with equipment that is meant for towing that amount of weight. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I appreciate y'all watching. Y'all have a good day.